Hey guys, it's me, Raymond. Oh wait, where's the camera? It's right there. Okay, never mind, never mind, okay. Hey guys, it's me, Raymond, and today I am back to bring you a, another doll review. Um, today, we're gonna look at today. <laughs> oh, I'm so annoying. Today, we're gonna look at, um, I'm just gonna do this all again. <laughs> uh, ow, this choker. Why are these cute? They're cute, but they're like, they suck. Okay, anyway. Hey guys, oh no. Hey guys, it's me Raymond and I am back today to bring you another doll review. Today, we're gonna unbox it all and obviously we're gonna take a look at her. Um, it is Horse Love and Skipper. So, <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh God, this choker, Jesus. Hey guys, it's me Raymond and today I am back to bring you another doll review. Today we're gonna actually unbox a doll and that doll in particular is Horse Lovin' Skipper from 1982. There's a glare, ooh. Um, so, I just got her in the mail today so I'm really excited because as you guys know, I cannot wait to open my doll. So like if I'm unboxing it, I probably just got it in the mail that day. So um, yeah. <laughs> This is actually, before we open, we'll talk about her. This is actually my first skipper with this face mold. This is the Super Teen Skipper face from, I believe, 1979, 1980. Um, box date, 1979, whatever. Um, so, I think there were only three with this face mold made, which was Super Teen Skipper, Western Skipper, and then this skipper. And then after that, they switched to the one that they used for like Hot Stuff Skipper and like I think Tropical Skipper or is it Island Fun Skipper? Maybe they both had the same face. I don't know. Maybe. I think so. Um, and uh, Jewel Secrets Skipper. So, and I don't really, I'm not too keen on that face. So it's kind of bizarre to me that they went from this face to that one and it's kind of a step down. But then they went to the like, you know, um, team time skipper and all that stuff. So, um, I mean, a step up definitely and a definitely more iconic face of skipper because they used that one for, you know, probably like six, seven years or something. Um, eight years. I don't know at the most. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, it's interesting that they kind of, I don't know. I, it seems like a lot of collectors really don't like this face mold and I mean, I can, she kind of looks a little mischievous. She looks a little, um, like, <laughs> like I'm going to steal your boyfriend, Barbie. Like she, she just looks like she has nothing good on her mind, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> but I don't know. I think, well, we'll talk about it more, I guess, when I take her out. So I am going to show you her box and then we will unbox her. But so on the front here, we have Horse Love and Skipper and it says a Western Skipper doll. So I'm, this is supposed to be like a spinoff of the Western dolls and thank God Barbie in this line doesn't have that terrible winking eye <laughs> um, that gave all the kids that probably got it nightmares. Um, so there is Skipper, of course, with her horse, Honey. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I'm not super into horses. I'm actually terrified of horses in real life. Um, I remember as a kid, I liked, some of my sister's Barbie horses. And I would always make my Brenda, or well, my sister's Brenda, but she's, you know, she was my Brenda and she's still my Brenda. <laughs> so um, I would, from 90210, by the way. So I would make her ride the horses everywhere. I, I don't know. But I don't, I'm not really into horses, but I, I just, I don't know, she's really cute. So um, there is Ken and his horse Midnight. And there's Barbie and her horse Dallas. And they all have like matching outfits. They have like, red leather pants with, um, you know, a nice little white and, um, and red blouse and a, um, like a, a sheepskin vest. And it's got like, you know, some fur around it and stuff. And actually I am like 90% sure her outfit is going to peel other than her shirt. So I'm kind of like, eh. and I also, I'm going to have to get her like a fashion pack from this time period. And those are Tend to, they tend to be kind of expensive. I don't have any skippers from like the 70s that are mine. Um, all of my skippers are from like the 80s and the 90s. So I have my mom's, but those are my mom's. So um, uh, I don't know. I don't have like, I don't have any from this time. So I need to get some clothes that are like era appropriate. And 
maybe I'll do like an unboxing of some fashions if I get some of those. But um, so then we show her um, on the box and it says she can hold her Western hat. And it says she wears a sheepskin vest and you can make her, tur her um, lasso twirl. So she's holding her lasso, you can barely see it, but it's like right there. And I think it fits on her finger like a ring, but don't, don't quote me on that because I don't have her, so I can't tell you. Um, but I really, I think she's really cute. And there was this woman on the selling wall like a while back, which is like a local thing. And, um, on Facebook. So she was selling like the dream house and like the, um, the star traveler and the, um, the horse trailer that like goes with this stuff. And I was so tempted to buy it, but I already have two dream houses, so I cannot afford, well, I can afford one, but I can't afford to put it anywhere. <laughs> so I was kind of bummed out because like the Star Traveler is like one of those things that is like on my list. Um, my grandma had one when I was little and I used to play with it all the time. I used to cut out like things from the, the newspaper, like food and put it in there. And like, I had this little Jasmine doll from the 90s. I think they came with like a perfume. They could, they were some like little gimmick doll and she was probably like seven inches or so. I don't know. I'm not like super into Disney so I can't tell you who she was. But um, so I would play with her in it and I would make her like, go, like lay on the bed because I think there were some pieces of it left but very few. But I would like have her eat the food that I cut out and oh my gosh, so many memories of that. So Oh, and she was $8.99. Wish I paid that for her. Um, I'm not familiar with that store. Bradley's? Might have been local. Um, I got her from eBay. So anyway, anyway, um, I will unbox her and then we will take a closer look. <laughs> oh, this is the scary part is ripping this 35 year old glue. Ooh. Ooh, does she got a bald spot? Oh, honey, what is going on? <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> Were you not rooted very well? <laughs> Maybe that's why people don't like you. <laughs> Cause you weren't rooted very well. Ooh, that glue. Oh, that is gross. Oh, boy. They never tell you how gross it is to debox it all sometimes. <laughs> These like these are just Barbie boots, huh? That is interesting. How do these go on her feet? Oh, this this glue is gross. This is like the nastiest glue I've ever had. Oh, this hat is like rubbery. Fun. Where do I begin? Oh, don't get on her tape. Oh, this tape is so gross. This is like the worst tape. I have. Oh, this is like sticky and. Oh. Uh, uh, oh my God. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. This is so easy though. Two twist ties. Two. Count them. One, two. Oh my gosh. Her pants aren't peeling as I'm touching them, so let's hope they stay that way. Okay, after eight hours of taking her out of the box and trying to figure out how to put on her boots, because it just seems really weird, but we'll get into that. Um, so I mean, I figured they made a different mold, but no, nope, they're the same as Barbies and they just, oh, that's weird. Okay, anyway, so this is the lovely horse Love and Skipper out of her box. Um, and she, I mean, she's so cute. So her hair is kind of interesting in how it's styled. Like you'd think, oh, it's, you know, pigtails. Why is this one so tiny? Well, um, there's like this whole thing going on in the back and like, I don't know why they did that or what was going on, but girl, honey, this is coming out. Your, your hair's getting restyled. Um, so I don't know. She has a cute face to me. Like you guys might not think so. And that's fine. We all have different opinions, but I think her face matches the, the look of Barbie in 1982 rather well. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, the way she looks in this doll in particular kind of reminds me of um, Angel Face Barbie. Okay, I'm taking these boots off because I feel like that is not good for her feet. So like, see how her feet are flat? 
These boots are like Barbie's boots. These are literally Barbie's boots in a different color. And well, I mean, they came in different colors, but anyway. So, um, so it's like, they're just the normal cowboy boots and you're supposed to like point her toes down and stick it in there. But that just seems weird to me. Like, wouldn't you think that would hurt the, the rubber, like bending it? And I don't know, it just seems not right. So these pants do flake quite a bit, but just very like little pieces at a time. But I see like lots of little red, little flakes all over my hands. You probably can't see them because they're very tiny, but I see them all over. So yeah, you're gonna need a new outfit. <laughs> but um, so her little gimmick is really cool. And oh, she has this cute little hat too. And it's like rubbery, it's kind of cute. And I'm pretty, it's probably the same as Barbie's and Ken's. So it's very, it looks very large in her. I'm not gonna push it back on her head because it fell off anyway. But um, I think that's funny. So she has a ring on this, wait, there's the camera, there it is, on this hand. And you probably can't make it out, but there is an S inside of it for Skipper. Like it's just too shadowy and too like little. So, but it, I promise that's, it has a little like squiggly S. So when you take that out, I can I don't I usually don't like taking out the jewelry unless I'm like washing them or something um and hers it's in there really good there we go yeah I don't have any skippers with like a ring so that's kind of interesting um this is hard to get in there and this feels like it's gonna bend like break if I pull too hard these old toys are scary to play with <laughs> scared to play with my toys mom so you what you do is you slide this through her finger where her ring was and you attach the lasso I promise I'm not stupid <laughs> it's just little and very fragile okay so so like you have her hand and you can like fling it around and make it do tricks and like, I don't know, put her leg out and put it through her leg and spin it around. <laughs> That's what it shows on the box. So, or in the instructions. God, her pants are sticky all over from that, from the um, tape. Uh, you are gonna need a bath and a, a change of clothes. Um, so, <laughs> I love her. She's cute, but that outfit has got to go. So um, here are her instructions. And it shows that you push her feet down and they look like Barbie's feet, but that is not, I just feel like that's not cool. It says, put Skipper's hat on, now put on her boots. Um, slip both boots on doll's feet, gently pushing doll's toe into boot. Remove ring from Skipper doll's hand. Fit small end of lasso through the ring hole on doll's hand. Fit key end of lasso onto the lasso loop as shown. And then it shows you doing that. And there is like a kind of a groove in it. It says, um, twist knob back and forth between the thumb and forearm, or on oh, forefinger and skipper stall will, or skipper, skipper stall, skipper doll will twir twirl her lasso. Um, try these other fun ways to, and help skipper doll twirl her lasso. Think up more tricks of your own. So there are some illustrations of what you can try to do with her lasso. It's a very cute idea, definitely. Um, there is a, ooh, um, I can become a member of the Barbie fan club, but this application is void after 3184. So, but there we go. <laughs> very cute. I love that illustration of Barbie and it says I'm a Barbie fan. I want to get a shirt that has that on it. And then on the inside, ooh, there are some fashions that I've seen. Um, so it is a Barbie world of fashion and on the front is pink and pretty Barbie. It is dated 1981. So there are some dolls from that time. There's Western doll. Um, Barbie and Ken, um, All-Star Ken, Golden Dream Barbie, My First Barbie, Happy Birthday, Beauty Secrets, Pink and Pretty, Golden Dream Christie, 
being a pretty Christy, Magic Curl Barbie, um, the Sensational Malibu Dolls, Designer Western Fashions, Best Buy Fashions, um, Kin Fashion Collectibles. Here, I'll give you a... Sorry that you couldn't see that all, but I know I've shown these before, so... There you go, just quickly. I'm gonna look at the other side. Um, it says, My First Barbie, Barbie and Kin Designer Originals, um, Kin Fashion Favorites, Barbie Fashion Collectibles, Barbie Fashion Favorites, and Skipper Fashion Collectibles. I'm going to look up some of these on eBay and see what they're going for. I'm sure a lot. I think I looked before and Skipper Fashions around this time were, are like $50 mint in box. So, um, I don't know. And usually if they're not, they're like not in good shape. So, if any of you collectors watching this are selling any of your Skipper Fashions from like the late 70s and early 80s, let me know. Thank you. <laughs> I doubt any of you are though. <laughs> But <laughs> help a girl out, okay? This has been Horse Love and Skipper. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this look at her. Um, oh, is that mascara on? Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed looking at her with me, and um, I'm excited to have a new Skipper in my collection and a new like kind of Skipper. Um, she's just she's very cute, I think. Um, like I said, I think she kind of matches the way Barbie looks, so I, I don't really get some of the uh, negativity around this doll. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and um, hopefully I will have some new reviews in the future, um, and hopefully not in like two months. <laughs> um, but just let me know. Um, what you guys think and and what you guys want because I asked if you guys wanted some more like um generation girls and I noticed that those views aren't very good so we'll see uh, <laughs> I know there are a lot of um play sets that I've said that I have that you guys probably want me to do or have said you wanted me to do so just let me know what you guys have in mind for my next videos because it's hard thinking of some videos to do all the time. And um, speaking of, I thought of doing like a Q&A maybe or something, something a little more, I don't know, personal. And I thought of doing like a live stream or something in the future if, if any of you guys are interested. Like I know I'm not like a big YouTuber. I don't get a lot of views or anything like that. So um, I don't know. We'd have to think of like some time that is good for everyone that people would actually be able to watch it so that I'm not just sitting by myself like a sad person. So, um, so yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in any of that or how I could like, how I should maybe, um, get you guys to ask the questions or I don't know. Um, so I mean, I have an Instagram, I have Twitter, um, under Ray the Unusual for both of them. Um, they're linked in my YouTube profile account. So if you're not already following those, you can go ahead and do that. But, um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see next because um, I want to, you know, give you what you guys want. So um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed the review and I will, yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Bye. Love you. Why? you? I didn't say to turn back on. Oh, honey. Oh, this is why you guys are far back.